and um, has had um, has has cows and, and horses and all those type of things. You might think, hmm, I, I didn't know that about him. Admiral Matt Winter, you know, he's now a he's now a retired admiral, but um, do you know that he um, he participated in an event for actives about two years ago? And some of you remember that, but he he couldn't be there in person because he was given he was the commencement speaker at the University of Notre Dame. Um, that's that's the kind of the person that we have involved in our advisory board. Sinead Irwin, again, a very some of you have been working with her in terms of weight loss and and having and helping to achieve a more healthy lifestyle. And if you haven't, you'll have the opportunity coming up to do that as we've uh, as we're focusing on Aero, our new weight loss product. But Sinead um, has an interesting story, including um, having been an investment banker and working for C Credit Suisse in Zurich, in London, um, and in New York City. And, um, and she doesn't talk about that, but it's, it's very interesting to know what, her, what the chapters in her book contain. Dr. Hernandez, here's a man who um, worked closely, shoulder to shoulder, with, with uh, Dr. McCord, and is one of the leading uh, world-renowned researchers in the field of oxidative stress. But you might be very interested to know that, well, it, it says here in his, um, in his bio, um, I'm not sure people pay much attention, that his undergraduate degree from Mexico before he went on to the University of Colorado and received his PhD was in marine biology. He was a specialist in jellyfish, of all things. Isn't it interesting that that, you know, he, and aren't we grateful that as much as it may have been very helpful to understand more about jellyfish, um, in fact, frankly, some of his research has led to interesting discoveries um, in regards to substances from jellyfish that can be used in the brain uh, to improve memory, but that's an entirely different topic. But his, his research has been with Dr. McCord as they've as they have discovered more and more about oxidative stress. You know, I'm, I've now been around long enough to know that um, when Dr. McCord first was involved with a product dealing with oxidative stress, all we knew, including him and his team of researchers, was that the formula that he was dealing with then, um, and that I was a CEO of that company, was, and that we were, that we were selling and promoting, uh, all we knew was that it did reduce oxidative stress. We knew that it increased um, the, the expression um, of, of antioxidant enzymes. And, um, and then over the time that, that passed while we were at that company together, and since then, so much more has been discovered about how that happens. And guess what it's all tied to? Gene expression, epigenetics. And, uh, and now we use words like NERF2 activation. We talk about survival genes and how we can affect those things. But we didn't know that at first. The earlier, the earlier chapters in the story were kind of incomplete. Dr. Patel, again, a world-renowned uh, pain management specialist. And in fact, I'll announce it now, let you in on something that nobody else knows yet. He's going to be the speaker um, on May 25th, uh, same time, seven o'clock mountain, um, nine, nine um, Eastern time. Um, and he will be speaking um, at our medical forum this month. And uh, it's, I'm not going to spoil the things that he's going to talk about, but he's got some really interesting things as he's witnessed in his practice and among his staff, the wonderful effects of some of our products. Um, it's, it's really fun to talk to him about that. Richard Jones, someone I've known for, for a long time, is very well known in media circles. You can walk the streets of New York and you can, and I can guarantee you that if you're on Madison Avenue, um, anywhere in Midtown, and you're walking outside with Richard Jones, someone's gonna yell, hey, Richard, why didn't you tell me you were in New York City? Because he's that well known. But did you know that he was, um, you probably didn't know that he was a college football player uh, like Stu. Um, he was the first recruit of a very celebrated college coach named Lavelle Edwards. And that um, back in a time in the early 70s, when weightlifting wasn't really even that uh, common amongst athletes, which seems very strange now, he was known for having 5% body fat. In fact, he played on the same team as Mark Wilson. Some of you might know that Mark Wilson later became a very celebrated college quarterback, played in the NFL. And when I ran into Mark um, uh, recently, I was talking to him, We've known each other for a while. And, um, and I said, do you remember Richard Jones? And he remembered him as Rick Jones. He goes, oh man, 
that guy was ripped. <laughs> he was ripped in, back in the day when nobody was ripped. Or how about Jeff Bost? You know, some of the chapters that we know about him are the fact that he has assisted as a, as a neuro uh, physician assistant, uh, Dr. Maroon in those 30 to 40,000 surgeries. But did you know that he's also a, a clinical a professor himself, that he lectures and he lectures in, in not only areas that you would expect in terms of the brain and, and the spine and the neurological uh, systems of the body, but also in terms of areas of nutrition. He's very, very well known in terms of his, his nutritive uh, background. And so those are all chapters in actives. And you might say, well, what's, what's, the, uh, what's the importance of all that? Well, if you go on and say, well, the only reason that we have these guys is because of these products. The real main players in actives um, in terms of what we offer are, are these products. They're all epigenetic based. They all make a difference in our lives. Um, we talked about genomics and what it does for oxidative stress and, and affecting thousands of survival genes. Optimant in terms of its ability to stop the pain. And there have been some amazing stories uh, that I've been uh, able to hear. I'm not gonna share them because I think they're gonna be coming up on some of the uh, testimonial calls that we're gonna have in the future. But just incredible where people are saying, as actually people who have been pretty skeptical in the beginning about whether these things would do anything to help them um, have, have had just wonderful results. Link, um, kind of the um, one of the superstars in the lineup, again, where people are, are uh, getting back to us and saying, I can't believe the difference this is making in my life. What's interesting is Angie, the superstar Angie that I mentioned earlier, she forwarded to me a recent article and, and um, um, research paper about how in the agriculture industry, they're using butyric acid more and more frequently because they know that uh, the studies show that um, it helps um, repair gastrointestinal difficulties in animals as well as humans. And in, instead of giving um, animals like pigs and cows and other meat bearing animals that, that people consume drugs, um, they're using butyric acid more and more. What's interesting is that if you read this, they say, well, what they actually have to use is they have to use some forms of butyric acid that are called salts or esters. So maybe if you've heard of sodium, um, butyric, sodium butyrate and things like that. They're actually forms of butyric acid, but guess what? They're not as good and they're not as powerful. And frankly, they have to attach them to salts in order to deal with the, the smell and the taste issue. Um, but because of that, they're not as powerful. And the article even explains the reason that they have to use the salts and the esters is because of the terrible smell and taste of natural butyric acid. Aren't we, aren't we so fortunate that we get the full benefit of the full and the full power of butyric acid without having to deal with the nasty smell and the nasty taste because of the, the technology that we got from Al Zapp and Testract that covers that, that smell and that, and that taste up that occurs naturally. And as you know, we, we use the DEX key system where we put a, we force every molecule a butyric acid into another molecule of cyclodextrin. And that covers up the taste, it covers up the smell, but most importantly, it delivers it um, to the areas of the body where it can be metabolized and utilized throughout the body. And of course, we do the same thing with, um, with, with tetrahydrocurcumin. And I don't think we need to talk about or, 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 or um, spend too much time on, on Amora because I think everyone who's ever tried it knows of the results. And in fact, going back to Dr. Patel, he loves to talk about not only Optimend, but he loves to talk about Amora. And some of you have heard of his, of his um, um, testimony, his own personal testimony uh, regarding that as well. And I say that we don't need to spend a lot of time. Maybe sometimes we do give this line of products not enough credit because frankly, the results are incredible. Um, I don't know anyone who's tried our skincare line who has not been entirely surprised um, to think that they, for, for, to, that they can get the ingredients that are found in high-end spa products at double, triple, sometimes quadruple the price of our products, and that we have not only one of those ingredients that some of those products have, but up to five of those incredible, 
powerful active ingredients that are able to, um, yes, it's great to, um, you know, diminish uh, fine lines and wrinkles. It's great to normalize coloring and deal with age spots and things like that. But the most important thing is it's actually increasing the health um, and not just the appearance, but the overall health and strength of our largest organ, which is our skin. And so um, I, I think that I'm guilty sometimes of not giving um, the Amora line all, of, all that it deserves. And of course, Arrow, um, our, our latest entry into the field of epigenetics, um, dealing with, with genes and, um, and the mitochondria of the cells in a way to increase energy, to decrease cravings and to normalize blood sugar levels so that <clears throat> the body can utilize the energy and the nutrients that it gets from this product and other products um, more naturally so that people can have some tools to combat um, the very real weapons that fast food and processed food and those companies that make those, those products are using uh, that, to help get us fat and keep us fat and, and keep us addicted to those products. So it's pretty exciting stuff. And, um, and, and I, as I think about all of these chapters um, that constitute the active story, I think that as important as those are, um, the most exciting chapters haven't even been written um, yet. And that's because all of you still have a large role to play. Uh, the chapters that you've written in the history of actives um, are, are meaningful and significant, but, but incomplete. And, um, and I think it's really important for us all to remember that no matter where you are, um, it's a good place to start and move forward. Um, it's interesting, um, are some, some of you are probably familiar with the old um, Broadway musical, The Music Man. And recently, my daughter-in-law sent me a TikTok video of, of someone her age, okay, a, a, a guy talking about the music man. Um, and it was, it was hilarious. First of all, that someone that age would be talking about the music man because the music man is like, I don't know what, 50, 60 years old. I don't know how old it is, but it's been around a long time. And, um, and so the guy says, okay, let me get this straight. So what's it about? What's the plot of the music man? And then actually cuts to another picture of himself, a video of himself answering himself the question. Um, and he says, well, it's about a guy who, who pretends to be a music teacher. And the guy says, okay, well, what's the scam? He says, well, he pretends to be a music teacher and he's really not. Okay, what's the scam? Well, he gets them all to buy instruments and he gets them to buy music books and he gets them to buy uniforms. And that's the scam. And the guy goes, well, do they get the instruments? Do they get the music books? Do they get the uniforms? And he goes, yeah. He goes, well, well so what's the scam? He says, I don't see what the, what the scam was. And uh, he says, well, and, but he wasn't a music teacher and he pretended to be a music teacher. So the guy says, okay, so you're telling me that the scam was that he um, went for four weeks as a substitute music teacher. And that's what the music man's all about. Um, and, I, and it was pretty funny and you'd have to look this up to get, the full, to get the full impact, but it reminded me of what people think about network marketing. They, what, how many times have you been told that it's a scam and that the products aren't any good and they're snake oil? And so if anybody says to you, well, um, Actives is a scam. Um, and they say, well, aren't, aren't the products snake oil? Well, you can bring out the epigenetic products. You can bring out the scientists and say, oh, well, no, I guess it's not a scam. What about the business opportunity? Well, there are people making money and there are people making a lot of money. Um, so, so where's the scam? And, uh, and, the, and the fact of the matter is that just like in the music man, um, if you don't, even if you have an instrument, even if you, if you have a music book, and even if you have a uniform, if you don't have somebody that can help teach you and then if you don't spend the time practicing, you're probably not gonna get very good. And, and I actually think it's a perfect corollary, perfect parallel to, um, to making sure that Actives has the full impact upon you that you'd like it to. If um, you're gonna get the full impact of the product simply by taking them daily. So that makes, that makes perfect sense. Um, you won't get the full impact of the business if you don't do it daily. And if you don't do it as recommended, so, if you think, hmm, how should I do the business? I wanna make sure that all of you know that um, in your back office, you can download uh, the starter kit. And the starter kit contains the active success guide. It contains um, information about the compensation plan. I was having a, a very good a conversation about this just yesterday, I think it was with Coco and Gloria. 
and Gloria was Gloria, who's a fairly new enrollee, said, "David, um, we really think you need a welcome kit, so we're putting a welcome kit together." I said, uh, "We have one." <laughs> in fact, <laughs> in fact, I, I showed her the box, and she goes, "Oh wow, where do you get these?" I said, "Well, we make them available digitally now because we we don't think people want to have." necessarily want to have the hard the, the hard versions. They can get hard copies if they'd like to of all these things, but it's it's very convenient and much less expensive if they just download them. And she goes, well, where can you download them? And I said, in your back office. And, and, and what's really interesting is that Coco had spoken to Gloria about this before, but Gloria's busy and it's, you know, and we all know that, that, that sometimes we don't all pay attention like we should. And so if some of you aren't aware of where to go to the welcome to get the welcome kit, or what's in the back office, or the other question she she asked is, oh, you, uh, do you have an app? And of course, uh, Coco had told her about the app as well. But again, life life is busy. We have lots of things going on. So if you haven't availed yourself of going to the back office, of downloading the app, um, now I know some of you are in locations where the app doesn't work. So I. I and I'm not sure, Janine, does, does the app work in Australia? I'm not positive it does. Okay. Um, well, there you go. If it's working in Australia, nobody has any excuse. <laughs> okay. They, they have a lot less support than everybody else. And, um, and so I think that it's, it's just, it, it just makes sense that just like you won't get the benefits of the product, if it sits up on the shelf and you never take it, or if you don't take it continuously, you can't really say that the products must not work. Well, you didn't, you didn't use it. How do you know it didn't work? And the same thing's true of the business opportunity. Um, now, I will say that often the, the, the products work faster um, than the, uh, the business oppor opportunity takes place. But the concept is the same. As you spend the time and follow the success guide, and if you need help, uh, just like you ask questions about whether the products are appropriate in this case will help in that case, it's very important for you if you have questions about your business, anything you're unsure about, ask somebody. Ask somebody in your upline. Ask somebody in your group. Ask any of us here at corporate for whatever help that we can that we can give. So anyway, um, as I've told you before, and some of you know, I'm I am a recovering lawyer, and the best evidence of that is once I get talking, I go forever, and I sometimes don't take a breath. So I'm going to take a breath here, and if people have any questions, anything that they would like me to uh, to address, I'm happy to um, answer them. And if I can't turn you over to Stu, he could probably answer. Them. So um, anybody have uh, any particular questions or things they'd like to know more about? Okay then. Oh, okay, Julia. Um, unmute yourself, please. There you go. Um, I was just. I'm curious for uh, my my friend Mariella that's on. If uh, we might have a projected date for when the other products will be available in Peru. Well, that's a very very good question, um, and uh, I wish that I knew the answer. I can tell you. I think it's going to be soon. Um, that we are in the process with the government um, and. Um, and I will say that it has been slowed down tremendously uh, because of COVID and because governments and their agencies not being as responsive as they used to be. Um, but we, we talked about it. Um, in fact, I think we talked about it just today, didn't we, Stu, in our, in our product development meeting? And, um, and they gave us uh, an update. And Francisco Varela, who heads up our Latin markets, um, was reporting on the fact that they had that they are uh, getting things, you know, sometimes they get back to us and ask, okay, well, what about this and what about that? Um, and so we are, we're, so the process is ongoing and we don't think it's, I would, I would love to say that it will be before the end of the summer, but don't quote me on that. Um, but we are working hard to get it done. That's fabulous. Thank you. Sure. Yes, Gil. Y yes. Yes. Spaceman. Space man. Hey, um, <clears throat> yeah, I have two questions. One is, um, do you uh, do something to make it shine the way it does? Because mine's a little matte, and I really like what yours does. Is that a, is that an active product? You know, it's just kind of the angelic glow I have about myself, Gil. You know, you have uh, to work on that. It doesn't come easily. No. Um, yes, I do have I do have a buffer that I use uh, right before this this call. No. <laughs> it's just, I want to just, learn about that. Just maybe I'll just take Demora, that baby. Just Demora. Just you. No. Right. I, I, it's starting to glow. I, I just I'm not I'm not quite there yet. I'm working on it. Um, can you address Brazil? We've just brought in um, a, a distributor who's from Brazil, has a lot of contacts down there. 
<clears throat> it may be um, just uh, as, as per the meeting today, tell me about um, the best way to find out how to get products to Brazil today, you know, this week. Well, that's a good question. I'm not sure I know the answer right off the top of my head. I can tell you that um, Brazil is a very strong country for supplements. It's a very strong country for network marketing, especially if you happen to be a Brazilian company. Um, they have a lot of a, a lot of barriers to foreign country foreign companies operating um, within Brazil. It can be a very expensive process, very time consuming process, and it's and it's tough. And and really, it is protectionism. They have there's some really really huge Brazilian network marketing companies, and they have a lot of influence in the in the uh, in the, in the government there. I hope to get to Brazil, uh, but in terms of getting on the ground and opening up, um, it, will be, it will be some time. Now that said, um, what I don't know, and you can um, send it, in fact, maybe Stu, maybe you can follow up tomorrow if you wouldn't mind, um, and, and, and work with, with Angie and, and everybody else in terms of the Global Connect. I would guess that um, through Global Connect that people will be able to buy product. Um, then of course, the question then remains if they want to, so there's, there's really two aspects to Global Connect, right? Global Connect, it, the first aspect just involves the products. Can they get the products? And in many cases, almost all cases, it's possible to get the products and just consume them and get the benefits of the products. Well, then of course, people ask the question, this is something for, for Janine and, and Gillian, for example, is, is then how do we, um, how do we turn that into a business? Are you able to pay us? Are we able to get compensated? Are we able to do this in a reasonable um, cost structure with with the, with the with the freight and those and 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 taxes and those type of things? And those vary from country to country. And so um, while it's while the first question, can we get product in, is almost always yes. The second question is, can we make this a, a business, and can we and can we use Global Connect to make that biz, to make it a business now, while the company is still not on the ground in our country? That's that's usually a more complicated uh, question. And now for Colombia, the answer has been yes. For Bolivia, the answer is yes. Well, it seems to be yes. We're not quite there yet, um, uh, but that's. But I'll ask uh, Stu to follow up with you on that. Uh, on that. That was great. Thank you so much. Sure. Um, so I guess one follow-up is um, <clears throat> I know in when we were looking at the Philippines, we we found out that I think sending and also Canada sending two or three trifectas might work, but over that becomes is that about the point where the country customs start to say, wait a minute, that's not personal use anymore? Is is that how we're thinking? Pretty much, yeah. Um, they much. <clears throat> I mean, with the same thing in Japan, we're still relying upon the personal use exemptions in Japan. And at our previous company, you might say, well, why are you doing that? Well, because it's expensive to set up on the ground in Japan. And in fact, the Japanese themselves don't have a problem with it overall. But yeah. Stu, at our last company, I think we were using NFR, not for resale, personal use exemptions. I think until, man, I don't know, our revenue was like $75 million a year. I mean, it was, it was big and we were still doing NFR. Um, and so you can use it and you can use it well, as long as you do it within the constraints that the government um, um, dictates. And so, but you're right, uh, Stu, I think it's safe to say, isn't it? It's generally in that two to three unit amount. That is correct. Because if it's not a registered product and it's a supplement, what we view as a supplement here in the United States are not viewed as a supplement in other parts of the world. In certain countries, they're pharmaceutical grade, especially the ingredients that we use. Mm. Therefore, they put tight restrictions on what we can or cannot send over. Another follow-up then, um, the connection we have in Brazil is a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. And so, um, What's if if I'm a medical doctor in Brazil and I like the product, I, I'm thinking the best thing to do is immediately subs subscribe, you know, prescribe this to your patients. Say go sign up as a customer, and, and go through Global Connect. How would you walk somebody through it? Um, again, I don't have all the information. We'll need to find out about that, Gil, and 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 see. Um, I think that I agree with you. I think that might, if he wants to recommend that and 
and it's easily obtainable or relatively easily obtainable through Global Connect, that I think that would be a great way to go. Um, and then the, the question would arise, if he's, if he's fine with that and is simply doing that as a service to his patients, that's one thing. If he's looking to get a commission and, and, and turn it into kind of a sideline of his business, that's something else that has to be uh, determined in terms of, okay, how, what, what's the currency? How do we, I mean, we, we know what the currency is, but how do we pay commissions and all that kind of stuff? Um, now we do have, especially um, with the things that we're pursuing, it gives us a lot more flexibility to, or, or it will give us, I should say, a lot more flexibility uh, with certain payment platforms that we're pursuing and, and, and working on right now to basically pay anybody anywhere, okay? But, um, but we're still, in fact, Stu's very much involved in that, but we're, we're, we're not there yet. And so we still have to work through kind of the old fashioned way of, okay, what, what things are available to us through ProPay, through PayPal, through you know, those type of things that are the mediums we'd have to use, especially when we don't have a bank account on the ground in Brazil or something like that. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thanks so much for the detail. Sure. Everything you want to know and more. <laughs> <laughs> Julia. I have another quick question. Um, Marielle and I tried to get onto uh, one of the um, opportunity meetings in Mexico this morning and it asked for code. How do we get the codes? Because it wasn't listed on the calendar. It just had the Zoom to get, you oh, know, the Zoom link. So how do we go about getting the codes for those for future ones? It was with um, Jessica Molina or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't. You know, not not participating in those meetings too often myself. I don't have an immediate answer. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's readily available. Um, I would suggest that you just email Angie and ask her that question. Okay, thank you. I just needed to know I what think, direction to take. I'm sorry. Or Griselda, you know the, do you know the answer, Griselda? Yes, I think all, most of the time we have the Actives 2020, that's the code. Uh, or, or Julia, you can, you know, we have a contact, we have the WhatsApp together. I can send you, if you're interested in always, I can send you the, the Zoom directly and uh, we go from there. Oh, I would love that. Thank you so much, Griselda. Yes, you're welcome. Thanks, Griselda. But most of the time is Actives 2020 and capital letters. Okay. And uh, what the Zoom of Lina Correa, which is in Colombia, is 777. And that's it. Until now, as the only ones I know, they are different, these okay. two. And I don't know, you could also ask, you could also um, email Ryan directly or, or Jessica Alarcon. Um, I don't know, you, you said that um, Mariela is in Peru. Is that what you said, Julia? Yeah, yes, so, sir. Um, I don't know what um, what Peruvian calls might be that are separate, I'm not sure. But we can definitely get her plugged into all of the uh, calls. I think pretty much they're all they're all the same calls, right, Griselda? Yeah. Yes, so, we are together. Yeah. We are a family, remember? We are a family, right? Um, just and so they have the Latinos in Action call. They have um, other calls. Uh, I think the Latinos in Action is really the biggest call, right, Griselda? That's, yes, that's a, that is Thursdays at two, three o'clock center center time, and tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we have the the call with the, the corporative uh, presentation at ten a.m. No, it's in the night. Wednesdays is a night, p.m., 8 p.m., Central Time. And, uh, for but we can, yeah. we, is there a, can... Is there a link and a code for that one that you could send me? I can send you the link, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the time it's the same Actives 2020, but I, okay. I, I, I'll share with you. Just send me a message to remember. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Great. Anyone else have any particular questions? I think Johnny was having a question about uh, he has family members in Hawaii, and I told the Stu was there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if Johnny can hear us, but he has a brother. He was in the Navy and very close to uh, one of the presidents, Bush, I think. But I don't know if he can hear us. I think he's mute. He was having no. a question. 
what you can do, Coco, is you can certainly refer him to Stu, and, um, and, St and Stu would be happy to to meet with those guys or you know wherever they're at. And um, do you have a uh, well? You're yeah, on Coco, what, you what, have my direct line, so have, feel free to call me, text me, and we can get on a three-way call with Johnny, and we can yeah, yeah. definitely okay. run with that. I'll be more than happy to to help you guys with that. Yeah, thank you. Well, some of the things that are coming up. Um, we'll have, again, as I think Stu mentioned, um, every Tuesday night at seven at the same time is, is a corporate call of some type, whether it's, an act, whether it's a, um, a company meeting talking about, you know, the, the opportunity, whether it's testimonials, whether it's a medical forum, or this, this newcomer's call. And uh, in almost every case, I think there's opportunities to ask questions and to hear more about what's going on. Of course, I think most of you have heard about the Punta Cana trip that we went on a couple of weeks ago. Um, stay tuned for uh, future announcements. I can tell you that um, I'm not sure, you're gonna get some, some uh, inside scoops tonight. I told you about the next medical forum. I can also tell you that the, uh, the next virtual global meeting that we're going to have is going to be on um, July 24th. Uh, stay, stay tuned for that. There'll be more information. Um, that's really exciting. We have a, a ton of announcements that you're going to be very excited to hear about that are going to have a direct impact upon you and, and your business and, and the opportunities associated with that. Um, and so, um, in fact, <laughs> as a lawyer, usually I don't have a trouble. I don't have any trouble keeping secrets or confidences. I don't have that. But I can tell you sometimes in situations like this, I get pretty excited and I, and I kind of want to tell you, but I'm going to wait. We're going to wait wait for that. Um, there's some other um, exciting things going on. Uh, we continue to work towards um, opening up Columbia. Uh, they, right now, they are relying almost exclusively on Global Connect, um, but it hasn't slowed them down. We have leaders who have attained levels of A8, A10, some qualified for the Punta Cana trip. Um, uh, Bolivia, uh, there are people there that are also utilizing Global Connect, and um, and we are we are anxiously uh, looking for a way to see if we can um, help Janine and, and Jillian in Australia um, with the things that they want to accomplish there, because uh, we do want the influence of actives to spread as far and as fast as possible. Um, without making it too burdensome for people, realizing that almost everyone on this call probably knows someone in another country that might be interested in actives or its products. And you might be wondering, when are we ever gonna get there? Well, um, just like with new products, we will have new products in the future. We will go into new countries in the future, but it's it, we're going to be prudent about it. We can't go everywhere um, at once. And uh, we, we have so many resources, um, both human and financial. And, and also we wanna make sure that the markets we do go to are properly supported. And people aren't saying, whoa, you, you give so much more support for those guys. Now in the early days, that's true. Um, people in Australia can say that, you know, uh, Janine, you, you joined us now, how long ago? It's probably been at least, has it been a year? Not quite a year. Um, first of August last year. So, yeah. um, and, and it would be very, it would be very easy for Janine to say, I'm so interested, I'm so excited. I wanna do this. Why don't you support me more? Why don't you do more in Australia? Now she hasn't said that, but she could. <laughs> and, uh, and, and look at everything that you're doing for, for the US. Look at everything you're doing for Mexico. Well, that, all of that's very true. And, um, and, but slowly but surely, we're going to provide more and more um, support and resources for, for all of you, no matter where you're at. Uh, we're still a very young company and uh, we'll continue to get better and have more resources to devote to, to a variety of things. Um, okay, um, any, anything else? Uh, Claudia Valdez has joined us. Hi, Claudia. Any questions for us tonight? Anything you wanna to say to anybody? No, you're good? Run, because this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because you know when I was talking a little bit about uh, the stories at the beginning of this call, um, I didn't mention, Stu knows this about me, but um, what, there's, there's a couple of things I really like to do. Now, I like to play sports and I like to do things like that, but I like to climb things. And if any, any of you have seen, um, 
examples of you know of earlier presentations. I sometimes show myself climbing the outside of buildings. I've shown myself climbing high mountains. I've shown myself doing rock climbing and doing things that my wife thinks are nuts. Um, it's kind of amazing for a guy that's not very tall. I am definitely not afraid of heights, and I never have been. And um, and so um, and I, and the other thing about it is once I climb up on things, I like to jump off them. Now I I like to jump off cliffs. I like to bungee jump. I like to do all those type of things that, again, my wife thinks is kind of crazy. Um, but it's it's kind of fun. In fact, I like to do it even if I'm a little bit scared. And to 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 Claudia's point, I I urge you all to climb, climb, run, um, and jump in. And if you haven't been so far, um, do it. Even if you're a little bit scared, um, that that little scary feeling, that little queasy thing, um, can quickly turn into adrenaline. It just feels great. And, um, and so if, if there's somebody out there that you've been saying, man, I probably ought to talk to them about it, but I'm just a little bit scared. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? They're going to say no and life goes on. But you just might surprise yourself and find that you're now part of that family story and, uh, and part of that family's lore. And that they're going to thank you and, and remember the day that you, that you overcame your fears and that little, that little queasiness in the pit of your stomach to do it anyway. So um, I'm, going to, I'm going to wrap up tonight. Uh, thank you all for participating. If there's anybody has any last questions that they would like to ask, we can we can do that. If not, I'll uh, urge you all to uh, to get on the phone next week, uh, the same time, and uh, and also pay attention to um, the announcements that uh, are going out regarding uh, upcoming events, um, and look for increasing numbers of videos and uh, collateral materials to make it even easier to tell the story about actives. So anyway, thanks everybody. It's great to see you tonight. Um, Julia, I gotta ask you, okay, I got a question for you. What is, what is different about you? You look great, but I'm just thinking, what is it? Well, I'm trying to put my finger, I'm, I'm looking at you on my screen. I'm like, what is different about Julia? So tell, if, if I'm not embarrassing you, what's, what's different about you? So, sorry. Well, I, I've, I've lost um, 20 pounds now and I'm down about 30 inches with uh, using the arrow. So. I've, I've lost quite a bit of weight and um, I'm getting my health back finally. <laughs> Good for you. And I'll bet that everybody says to you, what an easy entree. People are saying, I'm, I'm sure they're saying, what are you doing, right? Julia, and, and, uh, and, they're, and it's, a, it's a pretty easy intro from there <laughs> to go into yes. these products, right? Well, yes, I'm, glad you're having, I'm glad you're having that kind of success. Those, those are the type of things that really, that really remind us what it's all about, to make a difference in other people's lives. And I'm, and I'm I'm glad that you're with us. So thanks, everybody. Um, Thank it's great you so to much. see you all. Thanks, Stu. Look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have a good thanks, night. Everyone. Thank, you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. See you all next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.